last time on The Bill. All right, Rob, here's our uh, pistons and rods. Uh, tell me what you see here. I know you looked at the block, uh, but do you, see, you see any indicators with the pistons? What do we got? Yeah, of course, we was talking about the cylinders being out of round, and what you'll get some blow-by from that. Mm -hmm. And what you'll see on the piston is like this one right here. So you, you got compression coming over the top, which is normal. Right. And here's your top ceiling ring. Below that top ceiling ring, you really shouldn't see a lot of this. Oh, OK. See that? So all that That's where it's burning stuff. oil. Okay. So you're getting leakage past your rings, so you and it causes this problem right here. That's just an indicator. Okay. But that's showing blow by right there, that piston. As far as the connecting rods, what we'll do with these, we'll take the pistons off of them. All right. And then we're going to clean them good. And of course, we take the bearings out of it. Right. And then we're going to retorque everything, and we put it on our rod gauge, and we see how round that is. Ah, okay. Okay, this is a piston press. This is what we use to remove pistons. Okay. from the rods. This one in particular, it's got these two push points on the piston. Okay. So we take a piece like this, it's going to fit it, Just right. and that's what we're going to press off of. Okay. And that'll keep you from distorting that part around the uh, wrist pin also. It was, it's made that way intentionally. Correct. We're cool. disconnected. Tell me what we got here, Rob, and what we're going to be doing. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is check our rods for roundness. The big end is what we're going to be working on on this. Take my mic, and I'm going to set my gauge up here close to zero. Here we are at zero. Right. So that, that distance right there is what the inside of this rod should be factory. We're ready to check it. Okay. The rod. So the first thing we're going to do is torque it to spec. This here is a a rod vise. That's what it's in place. Great. Right. All right. So the spec on this particular rod bolt is 45 foot pounds. Okay. We're going to torque it to 45. So take the rod out. That one there is actually a little bit large. All right. We just measured the connecting rods. What do you? What's your suggestion? What should we do from there? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some new rod bolts in it. Okay. And then we'll cut the caps, seeing that they're not too much out of oval. If they were really bad, we would knock the rod bolts out. We'd cut the top of the rod and the cap. Okay. But seeing that they're not that bad, we can cut the cap, and I think we'll have enough left that we can recondition them down to zero. First thing we'll do is knock these out. Now, this is a factory rod bolt. Do they stretch over time or? Yes, with multiple uses they do. Okay. And that's where you run into problems because once they stretch so far and you torque them back to say 45 foot pounds, that's what the factory torque is on this one. Okay. If that rod bolt's already stretched, you torque it to 45, it's not going to have that retention to hold the two caps together. Oh, okay. Okay. So we're going to put ARPs in it. And these are actually a stronger bolt. They're rated at more PSI. So these actually torque at a higher rating. They torque at 55 foot-pounds. Oh. Then we take these and just do one at a time. We're going to take it over here to our press. All right, now that we get the new rod bolts pressed in, what's next for the connecting rods? Yeah, we're going to cut the caps like I was talking about. We're just what we do. We we'll go on our machine over here, and we're going to it's a stone, okay. and we're going to machine this top of this surface to make it shorter. And once it's shorter, when you bolt it down, it's no longer going to be quite circular. Okay. Okay. It'll kind of be like moving it down like this. All right. So it'll actually be a smaller hole, and that gives us enough room to hone it to the size that we want it to be. Okay. As you can see, we got machine marks completely across the, the cap surfaces. That way we know it's nice and flush and straight. This is the other side of the rod we're going to work on. This is ARP Molly Lube that come along with the uh, rod bolts. Okay. It's a lubricant that they use for torque stretch. 
you make sure you get perfect torque instead of restriction on the threads. Correct. And these go to 50, you said? 55. 55. Yeah. And we check it here on our gauge, see how much we took off of it. We got their gauge all the way up to four. So what we're going to do when we start honing it, we're going to take that from four all the way down to zero. Okay. And that way it'll be completely round. Okay, now that we've got our rod caps cut and we're torqued, okay. okay, what we're going to do is come over here. This is a sun and rod hone machine. That's what this is. Okay. So what we're going to do is try to take the distortion out of this now that we've made that distortion okay. and make it round. Okay. Right there, we're at zero. Now we're getting ready to marry up the pistons and the connecting rods. Um, how do we do this, Rob? What do we got to okay. do? This here's a rod heater. We use um, gas. We're going to have a flame going here in a minute. Okay. And what we do, we take a rod, and we got these uh, heat crayons. Okay. It's a certain temperatures that we run on this one. This one here, I believe it's 450 degrees. Okay. And we mark our rods with this crayon. And we're going to sit them on there in the heat. And once this crayon disappears, I take it off and I'm going to press it on this uh, wrist pin there. It's a shame something like that has to be hidden inside the engine. 